Chidoria Eye Serum. Prepping those under eyes. This is the Danessa Myricks Foundation in W6. It matches my skin so well. I'm also using the Maybelline Age Rewind in Tan. I really love how natural this concealer looks and how in conjunction with the foundation, it matches my undertone super, super well. The Real Techniques blending brushes are currently my favorites for a foundation. They just blend so well. Whether it's cream, whether it's liquid, they're my favorite right now. Going back in with my foundation shade to make sure everything looks good. Brushing my brows up. So I'm using the Anastasia Brow Definer in Dark Brown. As you can see, my brows are sisters, not twins, but they're not too bad. Anastasia Brow Clear Brow Gel. I'm using shade 146 in the Maybelline Age Rewind. This is the P. Louise palette. It's made in the UK and I just use the shade Hooked, or I'm using the shade Hooked. I didn't really know what I was going for originally, but I know I knew that I wanted to use this palette. Um, I just got it, and the colors are actually really nice. This is the Hermanorisms Loose Pigment from the Love Struck palette. Um, this color is Desire. It's like a coppery, almost like golden bronze color. I really like to use my finger, and I definitely used too much the first time, but it's pretty easy to blend out, so no biggie. So next I'm gonna use French Kiss. At first I thought I was just gonna pop it on the inner corner, but it, it felt kind of frosty to me, so I just blended it into Desire. kind of gave me my the desired effect that I was going for going in with love struck just to tone down that purple This is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Black Ink. I really love how fluid this eyeliner is. It's so easy to work with, it dries down quickly, and it stays put all day. So I'm gonna use the Derma Blend Translucent Loose Powder. I like to tap powder into the brush so that I'm just not caking a bunch of powder on my face at once. I'm kind of patting it in, making sure all that powder comes out of the brush. And I never do my makeup, so I really enjoyed doing this makeup look. So this is my favorite blush. It's the Dolce Vita by NARS. Lashes, lashes, lashes. These are the Hermanorisms lashes. Now, unfortunately, but fortunately, um, a lot of times I get lashes from Amber on set. Um, for the lashes, shooting the lashes, so they don't have names on them. Right now I'm just fitting the lash to my eye. I'm gonna trim a little bit off the end. I'm using her Lash Stick Lash Glue, which I really love. Um, 
It's kind of comparable to the um, I Envy by Kiss. So now I'm gonna curl my lashes. I really love to curl my lashes, especially when they're the big ones because I don't like to have my lashes look straight because I feel like they look crazy. This is just one of the eyeliners that I have lying around, blending that out and going back in with Hooked to tie the look together. I'm wiping off my mascara wand. This is the Lash Paradise. So I couldn't decide on whether or not I wanted to go bold or a little bit more natural, so I tried on both and ultimately decided on going a little bit more natural. And then this is the Her Mannerisms lip gloss in Imagery, and they smell really nice. This is the OM Glow Highlighting Finishing Spray in Queen. And this one is the Her Mannerisms Drip Bronze Flores Highlighters. And they are, whew, they highlight, I mean, girl. So now I'm just battering um, my T-zone. I'm pretty oily, so I don't wanna look super, super dewy. So I wanna powder down my T-zone um, and anywhere else that I don't want to glow. So I'm working on my hair. I use the Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. This one has protein in it, so I only use it like once a week. And then I'm using the Mizani Curl Enhancer. I had to take my earrings off and shake my hair out how I get my, my hair popping. And then this is the Mizani or the Miel Almond Mint Oil. And that is it for this video. I really appreciate you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Um, comment, like, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.